guys welcome back to my channel today i'm gonna be showing you how i shave my face for clear glowing smooth skin so i've made some changes to my routine within the last few months so i'm just gonna be breaking it all down for you guys step by step in this video also if you're new my name is audrey i share all of my beauty tips and experiments here on my youtube channel so if you'd like to see more make sure you subscribe and you can also follow me on instagram at audrey victoria x so I shave my face once every one to one and a half months and this is what the regrowth looks like before I'm about to shave. So as you can see, it doesn't grow back thicker, faster, or darker. Step one is to wash my face. For my face wash, I use the Fresh Soy Face Cleanser. Shaving your face is amazing, but if your skin is dirty beforehand, then you're probably going to break out. So I just wash my face for 60 seconds to remove all of the dirt and oil on my face. After washing my face, I then use a toner. So I use the Pharmacy Deep Sweep Toner, and I know it looks like I've never used this bottle, but I actually just bought a new one after using up my first bottle. Anyway, because I have oily combination skin, I just like to go in with this toner because it helps to remove any excess oil or dirt that the face wash did not get. Step three is to steam my face. So doing a facial steam right before shaving helps to soften the hair on your face, which makes shaving so much easier easier and less abrasive. I just steam my face anywhere from five to 10 minutes. Next, I apply a facial oil onto my skin. So I'm using rosehip oil and basically this just helps to further soften my skin and facial hair, which makes shaving a lot easier. It also makes it easier to remove dead skin when shaving versus if I just shave over a dry face. As you guys will see, I actually sometimes go in and reapply this oil as I'm shaving just to keep my skin thoroughly coated until my entire face has been shaved. Step six is when I finally shave my face. I use these cheap facial razors from Amazon. I will link them in the description below. And this pack will last me well over a year. I use one razor about three times and I don't really shave my face that often. As I said, I only need to do it about once every one to one and a half months. When shaving my face, I always hold my skin taut with one hand and with the other hand I will shave. So when I shave I go in a gradual motion while also adjusting where I'm holding my skin taut as I move around different parts of my face. So I actually do not shave my eyebrows because that is one of the areas of my face where my hair will grow back faster if I shave it. Instead in between getting my eyebrows threaded I tweeze them and for this video I have partnered with Regine Tweezers to share with you guys their slant tip tweezers which is what I use to touch up my brows when I'm shaving my face. The slant tip tweezers are super well made and easy to use and as you guys will see in a few seconds they allow you to effectively pluck the hairs right from the root every time that you use the tweezers. So as you can see here the tip of the tweezer has an etched interior design that easily grips hair to pull from the root so it's not going to slip or break the hair. So these tweezers are not designed as like your average tweezer they are specifically designed to help to pluck individual hairs effectively efficiently and fast so the tweezers are also extremely lightweight which is important especially if you have bushy brows like mine we all know how long it can take to pluck each and every eyebrow hair so because the regine slant tip tweezers are light and easy to hold it makes the process so much easier my hand doesn't get tired and in turn this just results in better and more thoroughly sculpted eyebrows regine tweezers are also the only tweezers in the industry backed by a lifetime guarantee so because I want to keep my eyebrows thick I make sure just to pluck my brows enough to clean them up and I've actually had this issue with other tweezers in the past where they would be super chunky and because of that I would end up plucking multiple hairs when I had only intended to pluck one and this would leave me with botched brows but with the regine slant tip tweezers they give you enough precision with your plucking to make sure that you don't end up with misshapen brows so if you guys would like to check out regine slant tip tweezers the link will be below in the description and also make sure to use my code audrey20 for 20 percent off your order there is no need to be rough with your skin when you're shaving as long as my face is prepped from the facial steam 
and the rosehip oil, I can very gently run the razor over my skin to get all of the hair and dead skin off of my face efficiently. So you may look at your face in the mirror and think that you don't need to shave it or that you wouldn't benefit from shaving it, but trust me, so many of us have hair on our face and you wouldn't even realize it unless you actually shave it. And when you do shave it, your skin will be shockingly smoother than before. But of course, everyone's skin is different. Everyone has different preferences. Some may not like shaving their face, but for me, it is definitely a skincare staple. All right, so once I'm done with my brows, I then move on to my forehead. And with this area, I have to be really careful because I kind of have an uneven hairline with lots of baby hairs. So it's just really easy for me to mess all of that up if I like accidentally shave in the wrong direction or something. But again, I just have to be super careful. Also, I will sometimes go in and add a bit more rosehip oil to my face if it looks like the oil has already been absorbed by my skin. And also some people ask me if it's a good idea to shave over acne. And I can't speak for everyone because as I always say, everyone's skin is different, but this is just what I do. So if I have a pimple that is either open or that looks like if I were to shave over it, it would then open up, then I do not shave over it. If I were to shave over a pimple like that, then I would just be spreading the bacteria from that pimple all over my face, causing more acne. However, if I have a pimple that is under the skin, then I will definitely shave over it because none of that bacteria in the pimple is going to come out and spread on my face. Also, I can't believe I haven't mentioned this yet, but it's really important to make sure that you have like a paper towel or a tissue close by as you are shaving your face, because as you can see, there's a lot of hair that comes off of your face. In addition to just like the excess oil from the rosehip oil, if you choose to use that, and also obviously the dead skin on your face. And you don't want that spreading around on your face. So periodically as I'm shaving, I'll just wipe the razor off on a paper towel as needed, just to keep everything as clean and neat as possible. Okay, so another place that I do not shave on my face, and this is new, is my upper lips. So just like the hair around my eyebrows, if I shave the hair on my upper lip, unfortunately it will grow back faster. Whereas if I wax, it will grow back significantly slower because I'm removing the hair from the root. So I use these Glee wax strips and literally all you do is pull them apart and apply one onto your upper lip, pat it down and quickly peel it off. And I haven't gotten my upper lip professionally waxed or threaded in like 10 years. There is just no need when you can do it for so much cheaper and get the same exact results in the comfort of your own home. To cool my upper lip, after waxing it, I apply a cold washcloth and I press it down over the area that I have just waxed. This helps to relieve any irritation or redness that I might experience. And then I just apply another cold washcloth all over my face to help soothe my skin after shaving. So I actually used to wash my face again after shaving, but I realized that for me, that was pointless. For my skin at least, as long as I thoroughly cleanse my face before shaving, there's no need for me to wash it after. So all I do is apply a moisturizer and oil on my face after shaving. The moisturizer I use is the Neutrogena Hydro Boost Moisturizer. And yes, this moisturizer lives up to the hype. I just cannot get over how amazing it is. It is soothing and perfect for after you've shaved, especially if you keep it in the fridge. And then I use rosehip oil again. I just like to apply rosehip oil after moisturizing. This isn't mandatory, it's just something that I like to do. And then of course, a really important step is to make sure to sanitize your razor after you've used it with some rubbing alcohol, just so that the next time you use the razor, it will be nice and clean. 
So this is what my skin looks like after shaving. Yes, this is exactly why I shave my face. So glowy, makeup goes on so smoothly. It exfoliates my skin. It's just amazing. Thank you again to Regine Tweezers for partnering with me on this video. I love all of you and I will talk to you guys next time.